with them that had made insurrection. What do you mean? What do you mean? Insurrection. With him and who had committed murder in the insurrection. Church, are you there, church? Church, was Barabbas a bad man or a good man? Mm. So this thing is to sit down and think about before you say anything you want to say. Yeah. Did Barabbas kill Christian people? Oh. Then what made that man so bad, church? Were he fighting for Christian people? Yeah. Okay. Then what made him bad, church? Yeah. Come on, your church. Tell me what made him bad, church. He left bomb because he was fighting for me, and but he wasn't fighting the right way. Are you there, church? You see, you know, you know, God, ah, God. He made insurrection with them. He caused war with them because they didn't want to. Are you there, church? Church, I want you to understand in this thing. Yeah, he left bomb in prison for some people that wasn't. They couldn't fight for themselves. Church, are you there, church? Amen. But he did. He did it the wrong way because Jesus said, "We mustn't fight that kind of way." Are you, are you there, church? But he didn't know better, church. What made him that? Did he kill Christian people? Or he like the high priest and them who preaching and still killing? Talk to me, the church. He raised war with the people. When he had people like me and people like you, and we couldn't fight for ourselves, we had a man called Barabbas. Church, are we going somewhere this morning? Amen. What made this man so bad? But you carry somebody inside of you, they call Barabbas today. Are you there? But the Barabbas said, oh God, oh God, oh God, I want you to understand this thing. You must understand this thing. He made war with them. He went into prison to save me and to save you, church. Because Jesus was not on the scene yet. Are you there, church? But when Jesus came now, tell me something. When Jesus came now, Jesus said, I be an anointed man from God. And the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because He has sent me here to preach good tidings. Not to preach any and anything but good tidings unto the me. And delivering sight to those that can't see. Are you there, sir? And not only that, I come here to lose those that are kept. And to open the prison cell for those that are in prison. Are you there, sir? Yeah. And not only that, he said, this is the acceptable year of the Lord. I want to make sure that you get it. Because I don't want to preach it without you understanding. Isaiah 61, please. Let's walk a little bit here, church, because I, that you see so much people talking about. I wonder if they had crucified my brothers. Where I knew would have been today. Somebody had us to die to set me free, church. Are you there, church? And somebody had us to die to set you free. And that is life in abundance, church. Are you there, church? Oh, God, church. Are you there? That person was wounded for me, bruised for me, chastised for me. The peace that I didn't have, that person called Jesus, thinking, Oh God, only you need Barabbas and try to get out? Is somebody inside the world that still called Barabbas? I'm going to talk about that in a while. Go ahead, preach. Read. Isaiah 61, verse 1. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Who said that? Who said that? Jesus said that. Go ahead, read. Because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. Because God had anointed Jesus to so the one to preach good tidings unto the people that want to listen, the people that humble themselves. Oh God, go ahead, brother, read. He has sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To do what, church? When, when Barabbas was there fighting for him, but Jesus doing it a different way, church. Are you there, church? He bringing peace inside of you, church, because you're broken-hearted. Are you there, church? Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, Jesus, come to do it in, in a different way. Barabbas was doing it this way, but Jesus come to do it in a different way. Read. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To do what? You see, he had some people that were captured, and the Holy Spirit that Barabbas feel that he could have set them free. It was to kill those that waged in war against his people, church. Are you there, church? Amen. Church, are you there? You see, if you don't know the right way, but you're still fighting, for Jesus spoke to tell us, this war that you're fighting is not... It's a spiritual battle now. The warfare is not carnal. It's a spiritual battle. It is not flesh and blood. It is 
He said, boy, I think this is what I want to go down the road. Are you there, church? I want to go down the road. And I want to go down the road. I want you to leave all what you're doing here. I know you're looking good because you're causing black men to see death, to hear, live, to walk, not to speak. But I want you to let all this feel. Philip, I want you to let all this and I want you to go in the desert. I want you to leave all this. You see, some of us feel that this thing is by night and this thing is by power. So we don't want to leave this because, listen, they don't want to go in the hospital with one sick little place and pray for somebody. They want big crown. So they're looking to, to be called rabbi, to be seen by men. But Jesus said, when you do little things, I'm going to put you on top so they won't call you rabbi. Are you there too? You can't start from on top. Oh God, they're going to fall down. You have to start from on the and go up. Are you there too? I, I know you want to be a bishop. I know you want to be a pastor. But why are you not doing the little things first? Huh? You, how, how could you reach up there? And you was not here. Could you reach up here when you were not here? You is not Jesus. Jesus said you is from beneath and I is from above. Are you there, church? So you can't come up there without leaving down here. In church. So Philip left everybody, all the big things that was happening. And he went to meet the Ethiopian Enoch, which is an African man, and the Bible said, the Queen of Candice used to be cherry, be riding she out and carrying her to church and all these kind of things. But he was reading, like some of us here. We're reading, but we can't understand. And are you there, church? You see, these people become stiff naked people. They just have their way, but they're not going to change their way. Are you there, church? So, so go, go. Listen, church, God have eyes to see you from heaven. If I talk about Brother Kevin, I, 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 it would take too much time to talk about him. But I said, God, you said you put me here. I had nothing and you make me out of dust. I want you to do one thing for me again. Come on. Then go and tell me to tell Brother Kevin to go and see by a doctor if he could make baby or if they could help me. He came back. A uh, very long time ago, I tell him, don't cry in front of me. I don't like to see people cry. Are you there, Chet? Yeah. And that got me hard because when I was a young man, the girls or the wife, when they do me wrong, they cry and fool me. And I would take them back. Which of them is to lie so bad. I hate to see man cry. But I told you, my name is Joe, get them all right. <laughs> but people have tricks when they cry. They put water in front to break your heart. So when you see people crying for me, I just strip off. You understand? So I tell them, I tell them, don't come at me and cry. Don't, don't, don't come here at all. You understand? So today you make a little thing, they will not all right. I tears up Joe. And then when you come back, you say, Pastor, the doctor say I can't make can't have babies. I see what you can't blame Donna now. It's you. And that was that. I went inside and I talked with God. Yes, and I just talked to him about you too. And I said, God, you said something to me. You said it's five of us. I'm not going in there today because I know I'm not going to have argument here. But Lord, you call me the president too. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Lord, you tell me to exalt your name, and you will exalt me, Lord. All this you tell me, Lord. And Lord, you say what I bound here, I'm going to buy it. What I lose here, Lord, I call it heaven now, because earth can help me. July when the Lord tell me what to tell me. The second? Somewhere around me. That is just last year. The Lord tell me what he tell me. And then the spirit of the Lord move. And I said in front of everybody today, 
Let me go back to the message, all right, church? Yeah. Let's go back to the message, all right, church? Yeah. So, church, <laughs> this man we talking about today, who we talking about? Barabbas. Uh -huh. Are you there, church? Yeah. Church, do you have Bar Barabbas in your life still? Church, I'm talking to you. Yeah. And when I'm talking to you, you talk to yourself. Yeah. Do you have Barabbas in your life still? Look at what Barabbas did to you. Barabbas was accepted by Jesus. You set him free and receive him into your life. I know you is a born again. That's what you're saying in the church. And you're dancing and Holy Ghost with. But who do you have inside of you that you carry? Is it the Christ or is it Barabbas? How could you still do all what you're doing? Say all what you say, going all where you're going and say you are a born again Holy Ghost. I saw you baptized. I saw you in white clothes. And I've seen some habits that you have. It can't be Christ's style. Are you there, church? Amen. Who you have with you? I thank God for Barabbas. Hmm. Church, I want to talk about a, a Barabbas. <laughs> a Barabbas that Jesus had with him. Are you there, church? Matthew 26, please, up there. I want to see if you... And uh, uh, this Barabbas, uh, Jesus, <laughs> bless him, you know. Jesus watched Peter and he said, Peter, you're looking like a rock, you're looking hard, you're bad. So up on this rock, Peter, I'm going to build my church. And he gets up, hey? Peter, what's your back in the good? You will bump. And what you lose here? Yeah? In heaven. But not that. Peter had no food at all to carry for his family. You know Peter had a wife, right? Peter went and fishing and he didn't catch Nothing. Whole night he fished and he get nothing. And Jesus come back and send him and he overcatch. Are you there, church? Oh God. So many things Jesus did with Peter, but I want a little walk with this message today. Now, you are there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 69. Who is 69? 26, 69. Yeah, Matthew. Yes. And it reads. Now, Peter sat without in the palace. Well, you understand, church? You see how Christian people just want to be? Christian people just want to be in places that they're not supposed to be. They want to be happy. They want to be sitting in high places. And they want to be called themselves men and women of God. Are you there, church? But when you're a child of God, you're not supposed to be among certain people. When your Christ died for you, in certain places, look where you is. Christ was, oh God, Christ was in the Carlos church and you sit down in some places that you're not supposed to sit down in. You have some friends. And not mean that the man who me, please sir. I see hand over, oh God, let me be so it will become so better. Read And a damsel came unto him. A damsel is a young girl. Yes. Yes, so you watch that. What's the kind of young girl coming to him? What's no, you watch that, watch that, watch that. Or you watch what he is. Watch who he is and say that you is one of them. You was with Christ. Are you there, church? Come on, watch who you is. The worst thing, watch who you is, man. And he been so blessed. But the people sliding down the hill, church. Church, are you there? Amen. I want to get this message today. Because I want to be in comfort zone and still want God to bless over you. They want a comfort zone Christian. They want to be in everything, but they want a blessing from God. And Jesus tell me to tell you, and He tell me to tell me, blessed are the man that walking not in the cause of me, not standing in the way of sinners, not sitting in the seat of His cross of God. He must be, and His love must be. In the law of the Lord, He must meditate on that day. And the only thing to be blessed and be planted by the side of God to bring forth fruit in a season is when you meditate in what you do is. Watch where you is. And you wonder, Pastor, 
I am praying. Pastor didn't say no only prayer. You must hearken unto the command and commandment of God. He has this about to go. He has this not about to go. Are you there, church? Amen. I pray, 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 but what way you going? Romans 8, 1 and 2 says, what it says, we could live in this world. We could live in this world. But we must not be partakers of the things of this world. And the only thing we could do is like changing the mind from going in the place of this world. If you want to prove what is the good and perfect and acceptable will of God, change your mind about where you're going. Change your mind about the friends you have. Move on certain things. If it don't take you to heaven, it will take you to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I hear about yeah. it. Yeah. I hear you, John. Yeah. But I can't do it without it. Because you just have an eyes to prove spirits. You just have a mind to understand them. God, has, the devil has sent them in your life to destroy you. Not because it's still on 25 and 30 years with you. It planning for you. It work its strategy out for you. And you're still crying for it. Because it's so long it was with you. I say it's so long it's, it was with you. So you're crying for it now. But you didn't know it was a strategy. It was working out. Praise the Lord. So come on. Read. Say, Thou also was with Jesus of Galilee. When you see that? Yeah. Where he is? And we was with? Jesus. He was with Jesus of where? Galilee. Jesus, thou son of David. He was with. What we is now? Just what we is. I know what you want today. That's why I believe he and all say crucify him. Because they say when they take me Jesus, all of them go around and leave us. Jeez. Well that. Are you there, church? Yeah. Just where you walk in, you walk in with me, right? Yeah. And you walk in with the word of God, right? Yeah. He was with who? Yeah. And where he is now? And if he, all the way here, it's out of course, yes, now. All the way here, it's out of course. All the way here, it's easy. But he died to say Jesus as human to make sure that you know he's God. He's not a bride. You're going to hear me like with some kind of old gesture. You, you don't put it in your head like what I say. Eh? Fix it. You don't know where it's close? Wow. Fix it now. Yeah. Fix it. Don't use it yet. Read. <laughs> but he denied before them all. What did he do? He denied, he denied Jesus before them all. Oh, you understand what we're talking about? Yeah. Bless Peter, the same Peter who walk on the wall. The same Peter that had to look to Jesus. That's why until now, and some of them love to give about the children named Peter. What's the Peter you're giving them? Because they have two Peter. They have a Peter in the flesh and a Peter in the spirit, but you won't just now. Are you there, church? Come on, read. Saying, I know not what thou sayest. You see, what are you telling me about Jesus? It has some Christian in your soul. I tell all you that. There's no business. You just strip them off, you go see something. Strip them off. You're using a Christian boy. What could be the wrong Christian? That's what you think. But all you think is stupid. But you want to write it back. You want to write it back? You want to I Christian. I didn't want to get me because I kick up my head like that and I kick up all of this side of here. You got to know that? Yeah. Well, tell me, tell me, tell me! Yeah. Tell me if you said truth, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they find it, they find it. Jesus keeps saying they're gonna battle over. I need some humble people. I need some pure people. I need some righteous people. I need some people that don't get mad over good. Because good belongs to Jesus. And he will fix it when you get in my way. 
Come on, read. And when he was gone out into the porch, another maid saw him and said, Another woman saw him, another young girl saw him, but it was the attacking him too. He looking different. Something about that. We are doing the the man warming up his head to look like them. So if you want to look like them, and to deny it somebody else, come on and stop doing that. Yeah. If you want to look like them and if you want to be with them, and to deny it somebody else, yes, sir. tell me not sir. Yeah. If you're in places that you're not supposed to be, then you deny somebody else, which you call Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Because Jesus said, from today, Peter, from today, Pastor Blood, from today, so and so, every step that you make, it will be watered by me. I will be a light to your feet and a lamp to your heart. You can't go where you want. You can't say where you want. He said, the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart must be acceptable. Yes, amen. And let your light so shine before me that you will continue to see your good works and glorify your Father with our heaven. You have to be different. Yes. And when pain starts to rock your mortal body, call on me. Yeah. I am the man for that. The battle never will be us. Are you? Are you that? Are you a barabbas? Jesus. Is a person or a thing of an action. You can't see him in person, but you can see the heart, an action of him, a lifestyle of him. Are you there, church? Why do people love this? You know why? Because I demonstrate Jesus. I feel in pain inside, but I demonstrate it. It pains, but I keep on demonstrating. I hear things that hurt, but I keep on demonstrating. Because I know this world is not mine. Jesus of Nazareth. He spe specifying it. Yeah. Not Jesus Bartholomew. You know it's you know, have another Jesus in the Bible. Yeah. That's Jesus Bartholomew. We scrap Walker. Not he. We're talking about Jesus. And you see how I'm specifying of Jesus. So the Jesus of where? Nazareth. The King of all kings. The Prince of Peace. The everlasting Father. The most wonderful counselor. And when you have no friend, He's still closer than a brother. That's the Jesus we're talking about. Today. Really? And again, he denied with an oath. What? I do not know the man. You know what is an oath? Oath. Oh, oh. Peter, stand up here, right? Yeah. I tell him, we have with him. Yes. We have some people like that here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't talk about no other church and talk about here. Yeah. Yeah. We have some people like that here. Yeah. Yeah. But they have to say? Yeah. Are you are one of those person or persons? When things smooth, you love Jesus, and when things rough, I have no business. Talk to me now, church. Come on. Church, talk to me now. Please just talk to me or talk to yourself. I don't know him. And I swear I don't know him. Church. But Jesus know you. Even though you don't know him, he know you. Because when you tell him you will love him, you will die with him. He said, I 
I know you will never do that. Well, but I put in something to remind you. When they come to three times, you will understand what you say today. It's not the truth. I know you're walking with me and talking with me, but you're not walking the truth. Are you there, church? Yeah. In them time, in them time, he did not have no clock on wall. Your clock was a cock. Are you there, church? So he had to remind you to a cock. When it began to grow, I like them cock and what do they them for? <laughs> when it's one o'clock, the cock go, whoa! That's so annoying. <laughs> and two o'clock, it goes, oh! Hey, that's it. God, boy, God, boy. Come on, after tell me that the earth is not the Lord. And it's fully. Yeah. Listen, do you know why they call it clock? You check out clock and come. <laughs> That's why Jesus speaking to me. And after a while came unto him, they that stood by and said to Peter, Yeah, Peter, yeah, Peter. Surely thou also art one of them. It's three times, three times, set up people come to me. No, we show you is what they are. You're heating up yourself there, you're learning to be. Why do you want this, sir? Why do you want this? Listen. Listen now, boy. Why do we have to be careful with this young people? You know what, boy? You know what they call it? Independent day, everybody. You will see. And you know what they call it? What they say? I go in. Because here, if anybody comes here, I will allow it to say to the cat dog. Only because I'm independent. So you have a lot of Christian down in that fed. And if I go and I see you, then what? Two are we the same one? Yeah. Who do you think I'm alive with? Yeah. I'm walking up here when I'm drinking with you. Which one are we going to talk? Be a Christian. For Carnival, Grandy Women are going to be a good answer. So the man that go, you know what I'm talking about. And they like the mud mass, you can make them up. Your big son will run the other day. Uh. But thank God, he sees and knows all of me. Come back and cry for me. He knows who to eat and he knows who to chase. Read. Surely thou also art one of them. Yes. For thy speech be read thee. Your speech, you made a song in Jesus. Yes, sir. What's the matter? Yes. Boy, Christian people, boy. Come on. Christian people, boy. The song ain't good, but it's smelling bad. Are you there, sir? The song, we have to be careful with the words. So, what's the one of the points? You want to tell us in the church? Yeah. We have to be careful because there are pastors, there are demon spirits that transform themselves into the angel of life. They preach a sweet, sweet thing. But I'm telling you. And see women as their captives away with them. So so fast. Mm. Are you in that church? So it's not all that say, Lord, Lord will enter in. Some of them like tingling what? And sounding what? Is not the will of God said, I will say? No. Thank you. Read. Then began he to curse and to swear. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, Say. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. He signed him, I know that, man, to say. Peter, what are you talking about? Peter, consider it. Well, I'll tell you, like you have Peter, that's good, I'm good. I'll find you already, I'll have that. Like you have a habit like Peter or something? Why are you running it down? Peter, do what? Then began he to curse and to swear. Oh God, you know what we say? This is a man of God that Jesus gave power and authority over.
over all diseases, to cast out demon spirits with authority. But look at this man now. Is he have a Barabbas in him? Yes. Well, he had Jesus. Talk to me now. You talk to me. Who he choose to? Who he choose? Barabbas or Jesus? And who he carrying at the time? Jesus or Barabbas? They think he's He carry Barabbas along with him. Because yes, I hear you say, brother, this one. He was an insurrectionist. He was a notable man. I said Peter was a notable man, just like Barabbas. And Jesus come to pick people like you and me and Peter today. Before the message done, I don't want you to fall weak. I want you to know that no matter what you do, how you do it, Jesus still here to give you something. If you can only give him something. Are you there, church? And all what he asks you for is to think about him and to live with him. Read. I know not the man. What he says? I know. What Peter said? I know. And what you said? You walking and talking with Jesus and still don't know who is Jesus and see all what you do and still don't know who is he? He takes two loaves of bread and five fishes and feed over 20,000 people and you still go home. Blind man, he must call out to him, church. You was there when he said, Good to see you, Jesus. He says, What you want? He said, Yes, we saw it. The man start to see today. And you still don't know him? You went to the grave in the cemetery when Lazarus was lying there for four days. And you still don't know who is he? You see a little short man climb up on a sticky tree and Oh God, God. We won't go to church. Church, I don't get church. And Jesus said, come down today. Be, and you still don't know him? You ever see anybody walk on one day? You ask him. Come on. I tell you, just look at me and come. Yeah. You began to walk on water. Are you still don't know him? You saw a woman dragging on she belly, creeping for 12 years. She bleeding. She said she went to all the doctors. And she just touched me in clothes. And not higher but low down at the end of it, where she could have barely reached. And she kept the devil. And she said what she knew, where she went. And all of them fooled her. And they still don't know him. You still don't know him, too? Peter, you are not move, and you began to move with me, and you say silver and gold you ain't have, but just as you have in the name of Jesus. The silver money. Uh -oh. Some people will never change, but Peter had made up his mind to change. Thomas doubted him. Church, tell me what more. What more can Jesus do? Hallelujah. Tell me what more. What more can Jesus do? His daughter was there. She was just 12 years old, Peter. And you know, Jairus is a, a wealthy and a healthy man. He could have paid any doctors to get his daughter. 
but he came to me. And Peter, he was there with me. Peter, I took you in the room, Peter. I took you to watch this resurrection, Peter. Peter, I, you saw when I said, little girl or damsel, around. And she rise, Peter, from that bed. And Peter, not only that, I said, give her something to me. And you still don't know me, Peter? Peter, another rich centurion saw it, an army man, a big man, he told me that his servant home is dying. And at the point of death. And I come, I took you with me, Peter. And I said, I've never seen such a man with feet like this in the whole answer. You saw and hear. You was with me, Peter. And when the man left, I said, leave and go. This child, the servant of him. Peter, just see here, I just feel. Yeah. What do you want again, Peter? Peter, there was a time I was with you, and I just left and tell you, I'm going to the other side. I'm going to take a ship and go. And I, while I was on the other side, Peter, your ship began to rock from side to side. Rain began to beat your boat. Yeah. Peter, when I started to walk on the water, you called me a spirit because you didn't believe man could do that. Come on. And Peter, I come and made everything come. I walk on your trouble, Peter. I walk on your trouble, Peter. Yes. When you could rest in that ship, Peter, I was walking on your trouble. And when I reached Peter, it was you walk out of your trouble, but I walk into your trouble, Peter. And you still couldn't have peace because when you walk out of your trouble, your trouble began to sink you. You still have what's called the need to raise you up. Real. We want still church. Peter, there was a time that I was resting in a ship, in your ship, Peter. I was resting. Have a hand of pillow, I can't even rest, Peter. And the air, it began to rock your ship again, Peter. I had to come on and ask you a question because you were crying for help. And I said, Peter, so long you with me and you still there, have faith, Peter. I had to come and come it again for you. I want to know if you have. But rather see you or you're trying to look like a Christian and, and you say because I go to church. No, 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 no. When you say you want Jesus, you must keep Jesus. The Jesus that you wanted there, that is said to be crucified there, is not the one that we have today. Amen. That one was in flesh. We have one that is in spirit now. Yes. So you have to kill the flesh. Because Jesus knows. Church, I love the scripture. Church, I, I could just put this thing holy because I know Jesus said blood and flesh cannot enter. So he had to die. Stop saying and leave him and then crucify him. No, 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 no. It had to go that way. Because no flesh and blood could never enter ever. Are you there, church? Amen. You had to kill the flesh for you to get up there in the spirit, church. So tell you that there is another body preparing for me and for you, church. Oh, yes. There is a kind of body and there is a spiritual body waiting for me and waiting for you up there. That which is flesh is flesh and that which is spirit is spirit. I can't stay here in this flesh. I've got to lose oh, yes. around to live in the spirit with God. Yes. Are you there, church? Everybody was vexed at the thing. Everybody would hear them say that they crucified Jesus and they set Barabbas free. But you can't set no Barabbas free. It's Jesus who set him free. Are you there, church? Jesus said, I come here for him. If you didn't need a physician, you wouldn't send for me. I ain't come here for the righteous, but I come for sinner man not to repent. That's just how you dare to. So you hear what I say? Jesus has come for you who righteous. He does come for sinner man. He does come for men like Barabbas. Come on, church. Talk to me this morning, church. I just need to talk to you. But you're still carrying a Barabbas mind. Come on. Burst inside of you. And Jesus saved Barabbas already. Yes. You can't win a Barabbas. Receive the Christ, the everlasting Father, the most wonderful comes that you receive him now. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
He said, I come with the oil of joy for your spirit of heaviness. Yes. I come in beauty for your ashes that you carry. You're still in one thing. You know why? If you're going to only say today, you see me, I heal. Then you heal. If you're going to only say today, I could see, then I could see. If you say, Can go in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. you're still carrying paralysis. He said, I come to set the captives free. If you would only make room for me. Yes. And when I come on the inside, I will be greater than them who are on the outside. Amen. And when your enemy rise over the sun, I will leave a stand and again. Oh. But if your mind that make you be who you is today, yes. you're not putting your trust in God and you're not waiting on the Lord and being a good thing. You want to run? You want to continue running and get tired like at the moment? Oh, you want to run and never weary? Oh, yeah. You want to walk and never bend? Or you want to mount up with wings like eagles? You always say you're going to win, Jesus. That's how Jesus has in your life. Jesus. You will get tired because you don't want more water and more water and more water. But if water that Jesus will give you, you shall never be tired again. That makes it from the fountain. There is a fountain filled with blood and sin and blood being in the way to wash all their guilty stain to their blood down and wash your guilty stain. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, church. Come on, church. See as David, cleanse over me from secret cause and let them not have to be held over me. Then shall I be a bride. Then I will be able to say that the words of the Lord and the meditation of the heart. Smile, 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 laugh, pain to laugh, and pain to smile. That does cause the enemy to worry. Yeah. Are you there, church? You just smile in your pain, laugh in your pain. Jesus said to do that. Isn't that Jesus said to do? And he said, when they shall see all man of people against you, all rejoice and be seen. Jesus don't know if I feel happy. The only one that I'm happy is to the pendulum. Yeah, come on. Now you know what I say? I could look glad and I ain't happy. Come on. You know what I say? So I'm fooling you and laughing and enjoying. And when you turn your back, I'm going just like Jesus and wept. If the man tell me to be exceedingly glad and I see he wept, then I understand. I understand and you supposed to understand too when it is overbearing, when you can't take more, hide from them when they can't see you and go to Jesus. Jesus, hide from me. I say it's okay. Sometimes you can't cry for the people to see you, but you can carry them with you when you want to leave them and go somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And the God that is so in the day you cry, I will attend on your prayer. You know what I'm saying? I attend on my prayer. Yeah, I cry, oh Lord. Please attend on my prayer. From the end of the world. That's why I will never stop reading Psalms, because the Jesus and all went in the Psalms. Amen. That's why he said, Yeah, I cry, oh Lord. And please attend on your prayer. Are you in your church? Why are you worrying? So because you no, because you're laughing eh? when you go in your bedroom and you go in your closet, fall on your knees and begin to cry and talk to God. He alone is with all your mind and he's in such a of your heart and he sees and knows all the When I cry in front of you, you say I told pastor was more strong than that. If you see the big pastor cry, I leave you that truth because he has no strength. I'm going to the next pastor who don't cry. Are you there too? So I don't cry for you, I cry for you. Don't 
Come to me, church. Come to me. Jesus come, with, Jesus come with the oil of joy for my spirit of heaviness. And he also bring it for your spirit of heaviness. You could get well today. But I know you're studying. You only study. I wonder if I will ever get good. Just I go back to what I'm heaven. Just I say, God, over 23 years I know him. God, I know you do ugly things. Things that displease you. Every time you tell him to tell him something, he will do something that is not pleasing to you. But do one thing for me, Lord. I don't know if this may be my last year. I don't know if this baptism may be the last baptism. I don't know. That's why Revelation 7 said, Hurt not the earth that the earth that I have seen is so much of God. I don't know if this is the last one. But every day, if you don't count it as your last, I just count it as my last. Because if it this day, I don't know for tomorrow. When tomorrow, which I say, give me again this day, I don't know for the following day. That's why we say every day, give us this day our daily bread. You were stalking up and stalking up. He said, you may lose all because much and rot will come and take it from you. But stay in a place that you will have life and have it in a bond. Are you there, sir? Yes. Yes. Are you there, my preacher? Yes. Do you carry the barabbas in this thing? I know you have to it with your mom. But is, is, is this in your hands still? Or is Jesus now? Jesus don't want you outside. Jesus don't want you on the outside. Jesus said, only give me your heart. And I, Jesus. You're not looking too good on the outside. You're sweaty. You're black. Your hair half white, half green. Your nose all that style. Eh? You hardly could see. For that matter, if you take out your clothes, you look at the tactic, tactic, like that. <laughs> you can't even wear short clothes because of your skin and your bed sitting on because you can't wear short clothes because you want to do it, but he has to do it that way because strip naked on the street. So you put some tactic thing on you. He has to go like that. I say, God is here without a mind and sits on the hand. God knows what you're going to do. So they say, before they make me shame and call my name all on the street, I will talk to them. Yeah. Are you anyone say? Yes. Yeah. He said, don't take the name in vain. And then he said, I'm going to put some kind of sickness on you. And if you need a truth, I'm going to put a sickness because you're calling the name in vain. So you can hardly use my name. I'm going to put something in your throat. Don't you understand how the sickness has gone on? The sickness has gone on in a kind of way. You just bring it on yourself. If you could only use that mouth of yours to praise God because life and death lies right in the dark. Stop using it to curse, but use it to praise. Even though you're doing that speech that today before the service that you should be able to turn it from your wicked way. Humble yourself, seek the face of God and dance at the prayer. And he will hear you from heaven and come down and heal your land. Are you there, church? Church, are you there, church? God wants to heal our land. But God needs me to turn it around. And if we turn it around, God says, all what you go to here, all what you're going to there, all things work together for good to them that love God. Are you there, church? When people used to call me dancy head and black boy and all kind of things in my village, I couldn't understand that Jesus said I would take this foolish thing to convince the wise. I couldn't understand the works of God. Never go to school, never understand. All kind of people say all kind of things about it. But thank God. He said, when they say that it's smart, I will take those things that is not smart to make the smart understand that anything I do is to make it He said, what is hidden from the wise and the good, I will repeat it unto me. Are you there, church? So you will see some people come in here and say, I have 10 this and 20 this and 40 this, but they just say, have that. You know what I'm saying? They have this and they have this and they have this, but they don't have that. They don't have what brings peace. They don't have what brings love. 
They don't have what we faith. They don't have what we patience. They don't have what we hope. They don't have what we life. And bringing about that, they won't have that. Look at how they have. They have all everything, and they still have. Bring me back who I was. When you place me inside the royal room, 
You say as it was in the beginning, so shall it be. I want to go back where I did. And God is not fit for me. They're guilty. If it is not fit for me, then take this feeling away from me. And stop begging for that damn man or that damn woman. What God sees fit for you is what God will bring peace to you. And tell you, and don't worry about who begs. It's not there who you'll be. Are you there to? I say enough is enough. I want Jesus. I want peace. And if I if I reach 50 years, 60 years now, this is my time. Because they say the latter way will be sweeter and greater than before. This is my time. This is my time. I have 12 children. One for John, one for James, one for Wilson. Oh God, and Wilson, I love it too. And Thomas. Came.